Okay, we're on to the R's of my VHS collection, or some of them anyway. Let's start with this one that I've never seen, Restoration. Robert Downey Jr. and an all-star cast of English actors. When was this? No dates. I think it was late 90s. But, not sure. Then, my budget release of Running Man, the other version is in the Arnold Shrexton downstairs. $5.99. Oh, well worth your time. Then we get red heat. I've got three copies of this. Uh, well, I've got three copies up here. I might have a fourth copy downstairs. That's the old RCA one. Then we've got the Columbia TriStar release. Re-release. Which is newer. And then I've got an old Hollywood collection. This one, this one might be the oldest one. It's got very heavy. Uh, looks like it's been used as a rental. Yeah, old RCA tape, number 12. Then we got Remains of the Day from the creators of Howard's End, yes. Academy Award winners, Anthony Hopkins and Emma Rob uh, Emma Thompson. But this was one of those James Ivory, yeah, Merchant Ivory Company made a lot of these back in the day. This was Oscar winners and biggest film of the year, etc. Never heard of again. Okay, let's move to that. Then we get two rounders with Matt Damon and Edward Norton. Look at those two young chaps. In fact, everyone's young in this one. Uh, I've not seen this, but it's by John Dahl, so I should have watched it. I do enjoy his work, like Red Rock West. This I've given several chances, Rat Race, but it's not as funny as hell. Even though it's from director Jerry Zucker. Clues the making of, if you wanted to watch it. It's okay, just not great. Uh, this is a bit better. Road Trip, back in the days when they used to do unseen and explicit stuff which is just a bit more boobs, so definitely worth your time. Someone hasn't rewound it. You've got Romes and Jewels, made stars of DiCaprio and Claire Danes. That's Lerman's musical. Yeah, it's quite a musical. Robert De Niro in Raging Bull, on the, on the modern classics label. A bit sun faded on the side. Anything special? Oh, it's got... 1980, it's got the receipt. That's all you get. Collect them all. Like Pokemon. So, got a second one Rain Man. That's 1988. Saw that in the cinema. Facts, yeah. This is the first one of these films I have seen in the cinema. Now. And then I've got the original sale release. This is. Uh, what Warner Brothers did back in the day, they'd sale or rental. That's how you knew it had that little label, the same box otherwise. I don't know the full reasons behind it. Oh, that's a nice label. Big thick tape. You got Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. One of the biggest films of the year. This and Terminator 2, 1991. Hell of a year for that films, really. It's in very good condition too. And then we get to Robin Hood, Men in Tights, The Legend Had It Coming. It's a budget release. When was this? 1993? Belongs to CM. We got The Rock. Get this video for 2 99 when you spend £5 or more. Otherwise, it's 14 99 But it's definitely worth that much. Okay. Then we've got Runaway Bride. From the director of Pretty Woman, with the stars of Pretty Woman, never seen it. Didn't hear good things back in the day, but whether people's opinions have changed, it's not worth finding out. Then this misleading one, look at that. That's the film you want, but that's not the film you get. Because London is not seen even destroyed, is it? Or is it even just a quick glimpse as it rushes over the tiles? But yeah, Matthew McConaughey, full on crazy. Hmm, that's a very fancy tape. Look at that. What year is this? As usual, no year on these things. Then I got the budget release of Robocop, five ninety nine. The three Robocop films in their normal cases are downstairs on display. So that's why this one's up here, but it is exactly the same tape. So whether that's supposed to be in there or they're just saving the money. 
And then remember Macaulay Culkin, and you remember this. Never seen it. And it is based on a comic book. From director Donald Petrie. Alan Silvestri doing the music, but I've not seen it. I've seen this one or two times. This was a big thing back in the early 90s, I think. CBS Fox released it for the first time, so you could watch it at home and throw stuff at the, your own screen instead of some cinema. So the film was 1975, yeah, 1991 this released. Very big release, first time on home video. And this one, I don't think it's got a DVD release, has it? It's definitely not on Blu-ray. Uh, so it's the comedy sequel to The Exorcist. That's not as funny as the actual sequel to The Exorcist. Uh, but yeah, 1990, it's 81 minutes. I don't think it even qualifies as a film, does it? I have to watch that at some point. Ah, The Great Ronin. I love this film. Uh, John Frank and I uh, directed it. All-star cast. Excellent action and mold. And they got an old one. Robin and Marion. And Robert Shaw. With Sean Connery and Audrey Hepburn. And Richard Harris and Ian Holm and Ronnie Barker and Denham Elliott. Directed by Richard Lester. This is a 1993 release, but there you go. Comes with the story there. That's not what I've watched a lot. Uh, yes, Red Dragon. The remake of Manhunter. That's the sequel to Silence of the Lambs. No, prequel, sorry. Because it ends just as. Uh, Lamb starts really. Raise the Titanic. Too many things to say about that. The fact it says disaster of the century when the film was a massive loss for the company. I think it sunk the company that made it. So why not have two copies on the budget release? Then another double bill The River Wild. Kevin Bacon being naughty to poor Meryl Streep. And then, spot the difference. Did you see it? It's just the, the label. About the only difference. And you got your Rambo 3. These are out of order, so this is the British version. So it's quite edited, and he's missing his bow and arrow for some fucking reason. Something to do with the, the hunger for shooting, I think, at the time. I don't blame Rambo films. And they've got the gold release of First Blood Part 2. He's allowed to carry a rocket launcher, but not a bow and arrow. You know, such things are hard to the company. Um, yeah, then they've got this piss poor cover. First Blood Part 2. Very low budget cover, this one. But it is the universal release, so it's not the low budget release even, it's just a re-release. Then you've got your Reservoir Dogs, the first Tarantino with an interview. 1991, well, yeah, I remember that coming out and everyone going crazy for it. So we've got a nice landscape case for this one. Uh, same, yeah, that's the budget release. But some of these budget releases they did put landscape. Then more 80s action in Red Scorpion. It's not bad, this one. Director Joseph Zito from Friday the 13th, one chapter, missing action in Invasion USA. It's not really much action until the end, but look at that. Nice purple box, as it were, restaurant release. And some Jackie Chan. This is the first one I saw in the cinema. Rumble in the Bronx. It was amazing. And then he f his 99 film, Rush Hour, which made him a big star in America. Rumble in the Bronx got him noticed. And then Rush Hour 1 and 2. Third one I don't believe is on VHS. Not that I've seen it anyway. Then you've got your Screen Classics Collection. Red Dawn with Patrick Swayze, Ethan and Thomas Howell, Go Wolverines. Got that. You got your screen classic with the Revolution. I'm not sure it's the screen classic, but this is probably the theatrical cut, so it's not as good, even though the, I don't think there is a good cut according to Jeff. Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse with screen classics from Silver Pictures. Good old Joel Silver. So then they've got the original Warner release. Not much difference there. Ah, some Clint. Here we go with Charlie Sheen the Rookie. Saw this in the cinema. Uh, 
quite a long film, over two hours. But, oh, and mold is out. Let's sort that one out. This one I've not seen. Rules of Engagement. Tommy Lee Jones, Samuel Jackson, was it? Yeah, we'll look. William Freakin and North Park Cast. Where do we get to? So, Romper Stomper. Yes, indeed. A lot of those words are very true. I've not even seen the film, just what people have told me. But it's Russell Crowe's first big role. Skinny Russell Crowe. So there you go, there's that. Right, we're home stretch. Roxanne. Steve Martin, Daryl Hannah, doing Serrano de Bergerac. But yes, it's all right. It's just more romantic than actual comedy, but that's an old tape. So we've got the budget release. Not the best picture. But looks well used. And not rewound. Ah, and then one of my favorites, The Rockets here. Loved it when it came out, still love it now. We've got uh, Timothy Dalton being the bad guy, and uh, what's the name? Jennifer Connelly looking very lovely. Now, what was it? I have been in touch with the the writer of this. Where is he? Yeah, Danny Bilson. So we'll see. Oh, I actually I enjoy this one. This is quite fun. Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion. The blonde leading the blonde. It's probably misadvertised as that, but. Good fun, that one. And then this one, Rapid Fire. Brandon Lee, Powers Booth. This is probably my favourite Brandon Lee film. Nothing to do with directed by Dwight H. Little, who I've interviewed a few times. Great guy. But yeah, saw this in the cinema. I uh, didn't see this, Revenge of the Nerds. Old CBS Fox release. Still a good fun film. I haven't seen the sequel for a while, though, like that. Again on the old CBS Fox release. Now, both of these are now Disney films. So they'll probably never see the light of day again. And the last two. So we've got Warner's Revenge of the Pink Panther. I can never remember which way around these go in release-wise. But uh, 1978 for this one. Nice little Warner tape. And the re-release on budget for video for The Return. I think this is an earlier one. Yeah, it's in Roman numerals, 75. Yep, yeah, very budget release. All right, there you go. That's R. Whew, made out. Quite a big one. Not as big as S, because S is... Well, this is one pile, and then S is three piles for some reason. Oof. Thanks for watching. Here, end of the lesson.